so hi everyone so we will study about the michelson interferometer so the aim of the experiment is to determine the wavelength separating of sodium doublet using michelson interferometer okay and the apparatus required here are michelson interferometer this is how it looks and sodium source okay lens and pin so the theory of uh, this experiment you should try to understand the michelson interferometer how the interference will take place okay and the if you want to perform this experiment just you follow some steps procedure so this is the nature of graph how you will get if you plot uh, the value of d versus n so whenever uh, the light falls on these glass plates uh, in michelson interferometer uh, the equal source is divided into two parts of equal intensities by partial reflection these beams are sent in two direction at right angles to each other so in michelson interferometer how this interference uh, will takes place and the formation of fringes will takes place uh, we need to understand whenever the light from sodium source falls on these glass plates uh, so there will be a partial reflection will takes place and light moves uh, in a perpendicular right angles to each other uh, towards mirror m1 and m2 so and after that uh, again from these mirrors right has light has been uh, brought back to form the fringes or interference pattern okay so after the after getting the interference pattern we should try to note down the reading uh, for each uh, fringe disappearance of fringe using this scale so this is uh, how we can use just uh, if you just measure the fringes the disappearance of fringes each time then uh, just note down the scale reading before going to take the readings you should note down the observations sodium light wavelength and the least count of this interferometer so you can just calculate the least count of this interferometer we have here two scales one is vernier and uh, mean scale so with the help of that you can calculate the uh, least count of this and that will be 0.001 so how you can take the readings you can just observe uh, the fringes using the telescope and you can just note down the reading so uh, once you get the fringes after adjusting uh, the scales of mirrors m1 and m2 you can just get the fringes and you can see here uh, from telescope okay and afterwards you can start for the first disappearance the big scale is 51 so next go for the second minima disappearance and note on the main scale and again big scale okay so how much you will get uh, you can write so 78 then like that you can repeat the same procedure for other uh, disappearance of uh, minimal fringes then you can go for uh, calculation of total reading that is for uh, the main scale what you will have main scale and uh, vernier scale and least count of this uh, michelson interferometer you can calculate the total reading then take the difference of uh, you can subtract uh, 
uh, remaining values in the first reading then you will get the difference d in centimeter so we, with the help of this these uh, values you can just use the lsf method least square foot method that is xi here number of minima disappearance yi that is uh, the d value difference and you can take the xi square xi into yi just take so using the values of these uh, p q r s you can just calculate the slope okay using this slope you can just calculate the shift in wavelength so lambda square divided by 2m uh, the wavelength of sodium light is 5893 actually it is a doublet uh, so that you are calculating your separation between the two wavelengths of sodium source so that uh, you can calculate here so put uh, the values of value of wavelength and slope you will get the separation between the two wavelengths uh, that is uh, 5.9 from this theoretical calculation then graphically you can also calculate so if you want to get graphically first you need to plot the graph of d versus uh, this n okay the number of uh, readings how you are taking so n versus d if you plot you will get the slope it is around 0 0.03 then use this slope for the calculation so you will get from graphically 5.7 angstrom so theoretically 5.9 angstrom so what is the uh, percentage error how you can calculate standard value minus experimental value divided by standard value so if you take two wavelengths 5890 and 5896 sodium source there will be a six uh, angstrom difference between the two wavelengths of sodium light then 6 minus how much you got Gra experimentally or graphically 5.7 put that and you will get the percentage error that is around 3 percent then you can write the result here as we uh, determine the wavelength of separation of sodium doublet using Michelson interferometer and that is 5.7 angstrom that is near to 6 angstrom so this is how you can do this experiment